deliberation and i now, now request akash to please uh, you know give us a deliberation uh, can you hear me hi yeah we can hear you akash okay uh those are great presentations by my co-panelists good afternoon respected jury members of icai and other viewers present in this webinar i'm glad to be part of this icai initiative in integrating and promoting ai among the fraternity and to others across my use case today as shown in the zoom background here is indirect tax advisor chatbot now the target here may be either consultants or even persons from the industry which actually this chatbot integrates both industry persons and consultants per se myself akash from bangalore presenting your backdoor tax advising bot agent first up the ppt which is showing shown in the form of an a pdf so that i can easily change here uh, is the ppt visible yes visible so is the ppt visible okay this itself was made by gamma ai uh, the reason why i brought this up this is also use case though it is not the topic of our discussion today the prompt for bring the ppt is here is the prompt visible in the word file only the ppt is visible okay just i think the you have shared only the powerpoint okay i will just continue then so coming back to the problem statement of this use case how does how do professionals spend time more effectively today in the idt space the bot basically is one which helps indirect tax consultants as well as the indirect tax questioners by carrying out high level analysis of client issues and cases or do professionals want to spend precious time in researching drafting and reviewing first cuts time is very precious in business and profession so how would persons want to use it in resource management business development offering client solutions expertise delivery or in basic research preparing drafts travel for answering basic quest questions of clients or cross functional meetings just to solve basic queries with this chatbot in front of us it can solve generic queries sort by anybody who uses this chatbot solution to which is already av available in public domain so the advisory assignments which professionals are going to use is still within their reach it's just that they will be solving high level problems instead of the the issues that are already available on the public domain and integrating this bot in website or in signatures after emails will be very helpful for professionals to target only issues which are which need to come to their knowledge per se now why this bot now because tax laws are becoming complex and dynamic example gst is coming new customs is becoming entirely revamped changing role of professionals and enhanced ai tools like botpress which i'm going to show you next which allows professionals to take help of now this is a workflow which i will also show you so that any technical review can be seen per se from here uh, is the is the workflow visible sir yes visible sir okay so this is the workflow i will show you how the web chat preview will work on so let's now test dive virtually and see how it plays so i have already framed a few queries in the interest of time so what i will do is i will put these queries to the bot and see how it comes up with responses in relation to indirect taxation so we start off with a high so the first question goes in what is the procedure to apply for epcg odc and ftp 2023 so this is a response for those who want to read it did you get a satisfactory response yes
Do you have another question? We'll try another question with the AI. First one was under FTP. The second one would be under Customs Act. Second question coming in. So on the Customs Act charging section, it's section 12. So it, it give, gives a crisp and accurate answer based on data available in the knowledge base. Did the satisfactory response? Again, yes, we got a satisfactory response. Another question, we'll try one more since we have time. This time we'll take GST, for example, because that's the third law on indirect taxation per se. What are blocked transactions under 17.5 of CGST Act, for example? It gives a list of transactions instead of just explaining the law. Though the knowledge base contains even the Customs Act, CGST Act, etc., it's more uh, non-technical answer. If technical answer is required, we can modify the query and technical answer could also be given. Another question, yes, did we, we got a satisfactory response here. We'll try another question, which is non-IDT related because the last three were more IDT related questions. We'll try something on FEMA this time because there's no knowledge base on FEMA here because this is specifically designed for indirect tax related query. Current account transactions under FEMA laws of India, it will not give an answer. No, I didn't get a satisfactory response. So there's out an error message saying that, so what happens in the next step is that it diverts the question to the human intelligence, that is the partner or the team that is going to handle the question so that they can fix up meetings or the AI itself fixes up meeting between the client and the uh, consultant who, which the question which cannot be answered by the AI itself. Let's try a couple of other questions. Since we already had an RCM, let's try to put an RCM related question here because that seems to be an interesting topic. Of course, if the notifications and the rates are also specifically required, the knowledge base also contains the rates which are required. So this is basically on the RCM notifications we are basically trying to understand. We'll try one more technical question on IDT and then we will. We'll try one question that covers both customs and FTP, sorry, customs and FTP and GST and customs, which combines all three areas of indirect taxation. So that is, let's see if how the knowledge base of three laws have been combined to give an output here. So this is the first four or five questions were specific to each law, but this is a generic IDT query, which is available in the public domain. So this is how from three different knowledge bases of FTP, customs and GST, it had the AI has worked upon the query and given a single answer to the question. Let's try one last query. Again, a non-technical one to just see how it acts. Akash ji, last two minutes. Yes, sir. Let's ask an accounting query on IndeS, for example, because this is more IDT related. It should not give me an answer here. However, the database can be widened, the knowledge base, and this can be customized to cover even other topics as well, uh, like accounting standards or companies act, et cetera. So it throws out saying, sorry, answer was not available. Do you have another question? We'll say no this time because we've checked about seven questions and see how the bot works. Thank you for using the solution, come back. So the entire objective of this solution, sorry. So what is the objective of a solution? It is for clients, web surfers, 
and cross functional teams basically so the chatbot will be deployed either on the website of the client the website of the firm or on the signatures when we send mails to them so that easy questions or questions for which answers are available in the database can be answered by the bot others diverted for professionals to answer in the mail in the mail or a personal meeting can be scheduled by the bot itself what happens to the market ensure that idt related questions are always consulted before decision making lesser mistakes in tax computation thus saving tax and increasing refunds as we all know tax is a cost for all the all the taxpayers and all taxpayers want to reduce the tax impact on their business the bot interface which we saw a sample of that that's it from my end thank you thank you akash a uh, very nice presentation and how you can you know, put in bots to your office or even to on your websites so thank you so much and